are. This song is one of the favorites when I perform live. People really like this song, really connect to it. Um, so I definitely wanted to make sure I put it on the album. I wrote this song when I was in Ghana the first time, um, back in college. And I had a friend who had just started playing guitar. And, um, you know, we used to have jam sessions together. And this was at a point when I was kind of just starting to take songwriting seriously. And so I told him, you know, you know, we should write a song together. So, you know, we sat down and he started playing something. And I was like, oh, I don't really like that. And then he played something else. And it was these, like, arpeggiated chords that you hear. And I was like, ooh, I really like that. And I started singing along and I don't know, the words just came right there. It was pretty it was pretty easy. I really enjoy performing this song because even though it's written about like a significant other or a romantic relationship, the lyrics themselves I think can be applied to almost anyone in your life who has made a meaningful impact on you and has really been there for you and that's one of the reasons why I really love this song and why I think a lot of people kind of Never Enough is the second song on the project produced by Steve Miggity Maestro from Chicago. And when he sent it to me, I immediately connected to it. I love the music. I was listening to it over and over again. And I was in school at the time and I was sitting on my bed and I was looking out the window and it was raining. And uh, I started writing the lyrics. The rain on my window pane is telling me to stay at home, but the thought of being in your arms drives me out into the storm. And, you know, I really wanted to give it that imagery for people to connect to. Because um, I feel like everyone's been there, kind of, whether it's like an actual storm or, you know, a metaphorical storm. You know, you're getting yourself into something that you probably shouldn't, but you, you want it even though it's not good for you type of thing. Because um, the song is really about what a friend of mine calls a situation ship, which is not quite a relationship, more like a situation. Um, and it's not really giving you what you need, but it's familiar and it feels good sometimes. And you convince yourself that feeling good sometimes is enough, but it's not. Hence the title, Never Enough. So I think people can really connect to that sentiment because I think a lot of people have been in situations like that, just like I had. Interesting choice for me was to end the project with this song because it's not really a happy song, um, but it sounds a lot different than a lot of the other songs on the album. And you know, there's a flute solo at the end that I really think sets it off by this musician named Jamal Brown. And it's the type of thing that, you know, as it's fading out, you kind of just want to lean in and hear a little bit more. It's never There is nothing original in love songs. They all tell a story that could be told a hundred years ago or a hundred years from now. But each love is original and unique to the person who is experiencing it. From the heartbreak to the ecstasy, from the anxiety to the courage, from the first love to the real love, each of us, if we're lucky, has felt or will feel each of these emotions. 
It is the journey of love that has inspired the songs on my EP. Losing the person you thought was the one. Feeling the excitement of a new crush. Being afraid of vulnerability. Taking a chance for something real and hopefully finding your one true love. Each song is a snapshot into my own love experiences over the past three years. And I'm ready to share those with you. Cecily.